Hi, this is Galit Gofarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about preventing weight gain through breastfeeding for both the mother and the baby. Breast milk is healthier and optimal for babies and mothers when compared to formula milk for many different reasons. And from my personal experience as well as findings from many studies, weight gain after birth can be prevented through breastfeeding for both mother and the baby in its future life. It's worth noting that besides weight loss, breastfeeding has so many other significant benefits for both the mother and the baby. However, in this video, I will only deal with breastfeeding and its effect on weight of the mother and the baby and the baby as it ages. So breastfeeding is not an easy task to perform in the modern world. It requires the mother to commit herself full time to the baby during the early months after birth. And this is not always possible for many mothers. Furthermore, aside from holding the baby for short periods, other people can't really help the mother who doesn't get much free time at all during these early months after birth. The mother's breasts are both the pacifier and the sole source of nourishment for the baby and no one else can really help the mother when she is at this early breastfeeding stage. And for this reason, it is not for everyone and I understand that. But if you can delay personal gratification for just a few months, nothing will do better for both you and your baby's health and your body. <laughs> so the weight benefits for the mother, let's talk about those. Breastfeeding forms a natural bonding between the mother and the baby which releases the hormone oxytocin which is also known as the love hormone or the feel-good hormone. It releases it in both the mother and the baby and this release of oxytocin leads to substantial weight loss especially in overweight or obese mothers following birth but it does it really for everyone. The oxytocin also relaxes the mother, reducing stress levels, which are also a known factor that leads to weight gain, especially after childbirth. Now this reduction in stress throughout the day with the constant release of the hormone oxytocin at every single feed of the baby is a crucial factor in weight loss after pregnancy. Oxytocin is also involved in triggering the uterus to shrink back to its pre-pregnancy size. And when breastfeeding, this occurs much more quickly than if not breastfeeding. And there are strong contractions while breastfeeding, which may be quite uncomfortable uh, during the first few weeks after birth, but these help to bring the body back to its normal shape more quickly and naturally than when not breastfeeding. Now, furthermore, a mother's body requires more energy to breastfeed, and that's approximately an additional 500 calories every single day. And this is why many mothers who are very busy with their newborns lose weight. Most mothers do not manage to consume sufficient energy in the form of food to replenish these increased needs. And although weight loss happens gradually after birth, it is consistent with breastfeeding mothers that do not provide pacifiers for their babies. Because when a pacifier is provided, the milk production decreases and this hinders the mother's ability to produce sufficient milk for long-term breastfeeding, which is what we want to do if we want to lose weight. And the weight loss is about one to two and a half pounds, which is about half to 1.2 kilos a month. Um, and this is very natural during the first six months after birth for breastfeeding mothers. And it will continue more slowly, but continue consistently um, after that period. It, it usually takes about eight months to lose all of the weight gained during pregnancy and allow the body to return to its pre-pregnancy shape. But if the mother continues to breastfeed after this period of eight months, then weight loss will also continue. Although at a slower pace, it will still continue. Now, a study from the University of Pittsburgh conducted in 2010 suggested that breastfeeding also helps mother, mothers lose this abdominal um, fat that they gain during pregnancy, which is very important for the health of the baby. But if the mother chooses not to breastfeed her baby or stops earlier than the recommended few months, then the mother will hoard this abdominal fat, which will lead her to suffer from increased health risks following the pregnancy. Now, animal studies also show that breastfeeding increases the mother's response to insulin, allowing her to break down glucose much more efficiently and maintain stable blood sugar levels, which is very helpful at maintaining a healthy weight. Breastfeeding also reduces growth hormone activity, which will affect weight gain after pregnancy. 
Now let's look at the weight benefits for the baby. Well, most health authorities suggest that breastfeeding for at least six months after birth is, is great. Some also recommend that even though the baby should start consuming uh, regular food after the stage, the baby should still be breastfed for up to a whole year. The baby gains weight from breastfeeding at the exact amount of weight that it should be gaining. Most studies have shown that breastfed babies have lower rates of obesity by 15 to 30 percent when compared to babies who receive formula milk. Breast milk provides the baby with highly nutritious and easily digestible food, but also babies who feed on the breast learn to develop healthy eating habits. How? Well, the baby controls when it wants to eat and can decide how much to eat when it's breastfeeding. This helps breastfed babies grow into adults that know how to regulate their food intake best and are therefore less at risk for obesity and weight gain as children and as adults. On the other hand, formula-fed babies are often encouraged to finish and empty their bottle, which may override their internal satiety cues and result in poor self-regulation of food intake in the future. Researchers from Okayama University in Japan reported that among 43,300 Japanese children, those who were only breastfed for six to seven months were less likely to be overweight and obese at ages seven and eight compared to kids who drank formula milk. In a review of over 400 individual studies, breastfeeding was associated with a whole range of both short and long-term health consequences, including a reduction in the risk of obesity. Also, breast milk uh, lowers future risk of obesity due to the subsequent development of the healthier gut microbiome. Formula-fed babies have been found to have an altered infant gut microbiome, the healthy bacteria in the gut, in favor of a pro-inflammatory bacteria and increased gut permeability and bacterial load. So formula feeding is associated with altered intestinal microbiome characteristics at three months after birth already. And these findings are linked, uh, are the link between formula uh, milk during early life and altered microbiome and subsequent weight gain. So to conclude, Breastfeeding undoubtedly affects the weight of both the mother and the child, as well as the weight gain of the child in the, in the future. But these are not the only benefits of weight of breastfeeding, which are many for both the mother and the child. So although it's not an easy task, I really know it. It's very, very difficult, especially during the first six weeks. If you persist at it, I, I definitely recommend breastfeeding your baby especially for the first six to eight months, and if possible, continue up to one year. So that's it for today. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want more information on health and nutrition, please visit my website at www.thegorillodiet.com. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.